So you want to make YouTube videos, me too. And you don't want to bore your audience, me either. And maybe you want like a ninja and some hand to write out boring information. And maybe you just want some infographs or whatever it is. However, I am not a full-time animator, nor am I on the upper echelon of the economic totem pole. So what animation software would be best for somebody like me? Time is precious and I hate spending hours getting to know a platform just to figure out that I can't afford it. And I just did that. Well, let me share my failures with you so that I can prevent some of yours. Animaker versus Powtoon, what's the deal? I spent a couple of days researching various animation software, softwares, soft, software, so software, and uh, I decided on Powtoon. I went through the signup process for a free account to test it out and made an animation I really liked. I had looked into the pricing beforehand, but I think I looked at it a little too quickly, and then I moved on to creating. And then I didn't think about it until I hit export and found out it will not let me export as an MP4 only as a PowerPoint or PDF uh, while I'm using the free version. Okay then, it's time to make the purchase. I bust out my card and realize the price I saw was the annual pay price equivalent of a monthly payment. So $708 divided by 12 months is $59 a month. But you have to pay all $708 up front in order to get that price. I switched it over to monthly and oh my gosh, it is $197 a month just to be able to export this baby. A 333.9% increase. I cut my losses and I went for my second option, Animaker. I was relieved to learn that their $59 a month is indeed only $59 a month. You get a $39 a month rate whenever you pay for all of it up front. So I went in, I made my little animation in under an hour, and I was able to purchase and export. But if you want a quick introduction to both platforms to help you decide, please keep watching. Getting started. The Powtoons platform is approachable. You can select pre-made templates to follow or start with a blank one. I'm gonna start with a blank one. It's friendly. I like the load screen, the little loading awesomeness. Uh, it does take a while to load, but that's okay. Powtoon has a lot of scenes to choose from, uh, or they have a really sweet library of imagery and backgrounds to select from. So we will go with this ritzy dream living room. Okay, let's find a character. Uh, there's a large variety to choose from. I am going with Mr. Corporate Funky here. You just click to place it. Okay, let's give him a friend and let's make him angry. So you can use the traditional animations and you can create movement into the scene with their A to B button. Whoops, wrong way. Let's switch his positions. Okay, there we go. You can include text and change the color. It can be written in with the wandering hand. Um, here are the props. Let's give Mr. Moneybags a taco. No, a burger. I'm hungry. Okay, no, we're gonna give him this flower. There you go. This works. So here is the preview. It's smooth and I like it. Quick and easy. But again, when you go to download an MP4, no dice. You can download a PowerPoint version or a PDF version. Uh, but again, the pricing plans are a little brutal for me uh, to download an MP4. Whatever Powtoon is doing, it seems to be working for them. I'm just not in a financial position to drop $200 a month on any one thing. But since I still had the freebie for a couple of days, I wanted to show you what it was. It is super easy to use. I love their initial library as well as access to the full media library and the external libraries. Um, okay, so on to Animaker. So Animaker has a very similar ease of use. The free version is limiting, but what do you expect? Making animations from the raw is a timely process and those artists deserve to get paid. They have pre-made storylines to pick from, but again, I'm going for a blank presentation. I do like that it presents a tutorial every time I'm about to get started. So the scenes are a little different. They're nice. I'm going to pick a space theme. I could upload my own background, but no need. If they have a big library somewhere, it isn't easily accessed. Maybe it is there, I just haven't found it. 
So I'm gonna be working with the zombie guy and let's put in some planets. If I want to move the animation, I select multi-move and put pins in. I like it. He's going to be hit in the face by this Saturn-esque planet. Okay, let's make him sad and we can insert some text. I have noticed it takes a while to manipulate the text. It kind of freezes up, but I am not one to complain when I'm able to produce a video and download it for $59 a month. Oi, that didn't work out. Okay, a few adjustments. Now Saturn will knock out the angry zombie. You can adjust the pins along the timeline as well to determine when your objects show up. The preview isn't working, that's too bad. This is the first time it hasn't worked. The export process is smooth though. Animaker sent my completed product to me within a few minutes, and the final version is much smoother than in the Maker. Again, on the price point, I could handle this. It wasn't a big deal, it was economic for me, for my needs, and I was able to make a purchase and am using Animaker to prepare my first subject matter video called The Purge. I will have it out sometime next week. Yeah, so I hope that you guys are doing your thing and you're hydrated and you're rolling into the new year pretty well and um yeah hopefully this helps you with your next project or whatever have a wonderful day and remember that you are loved